I'm Michael Bain and welcome to Triggered and welcome to the floor of 2024 shot in Las Vegas where in the least likely thing I would have imagined it's raining lever action right I'm stealing that lyrics from the weather girls in the 1980s but it's amazing there are lever actions everywhere I, I had no idea like take a look at this from Uberti this is a hunting version of an 1873 which heaven knows I have a lot of them but this one with the rail it's set up with flat buttstock a little bit of a pad on it half octagonal barrel holy cow this is a great little rifle and what we're going to do today is we're going to take you on the floor of the shot show and show you this explosion explosion in lever guns isn't this tactical i like this let's go take a look here's a surprise smith and wesson 1854 lever gun 44 magnum very intelligently designed i've been looking at it here and you know i have like more than one 44 magnum lever gun <laughs> maybe more than 10 i don't know but they seem to multiply in the safe but this one well thought out i love the brush stainless look on it kind of the polymer furniture on it the trigger is excellent that flat trigger there absolutely super trigger pull feels really good about five five and a half pounds on this bad boy a couple of things that i really like one thing that they adopted from henry is you can pull out this tube where you after you, you insert in the side but when you want to empty it you pop this tube out pour them out on the ground which is a lot safer in the long run than sitting there cranking it running it cranking it running it if you accidentally hit the trigger and then shoot your television set all in all this is a really excellent woods gun 44 magnum is my choice in the woods i've used it hunting a lot with lever guns it's an excellent choice so if you'd let, rather see that S and W in Primatur, here's your chance. Nice gun. M-Lock, here is a brand new 22 lever action. Pretty slick, right? 15 shot, a 20 inch barrel. And you know who it's from? This is amazing. It's from Winchester. Did you know Winchester made lever action rifles? Holy cow, who knew? A 22 is always good. Probably have to have one of these. Okay, we're here at the Henry Repeating Arms booth. This is the first rifle that I've ordered here at SHOT 2024. And I ordered it because it is really a tour de force, a Henry Supreme. Jeff here is the designer and put this together. Yep. Tell me why what we're looking at here is such a special gun. Yeah, so this gun is for, uh, first for us, it has a free-floated barrel with a rotating bolt. Uh, that combined with some of our new barrel manufacturing technology has allowed us to make a gun that we're able to say is capable of sub-MOA accuracy. Uh, additionally, it takes PMAG standard, so that's a huge plus for people who have a lot of magazines at home that are common to this pattern. Uh, we also have a match grade adjustable trigger, ambidextrous mag release, and ambidextrous hang safety. So all this combined with an incredibly smooth action to make the lever action supreme. And you know, the amazing thing to me is the trigger was flawless. The trigger was just flawless. And you don't often see that in a lever gun. Sometimes you don't even see that in Henry lever guns. No. But, uh, oh, yeah. It's just the truth of it. And, but like you said, it's a free flow barrel. That's always been the issue with lever guns. It's touching on the barrel band like that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, just to compliment you on it, it looks like a lever gun. It doesn't look like something from, say, a Space Odyssey. Yeah, we tried to, to keep this within the classic lines of what what is a Henry. The one that I ordered is in 300 Blackout. Think about that in terms of white-tailed deer and under hog hunting gun. Absolutely false, absolutely perfect. A wonderful job. I stand in awe of engineers. Thank you very much. There'll be more. I promise I'll buy more. This week's Triggered is brought to you by Muzzle Stick. Biggest, brightest, strongest. Arms Corps, Rock Island Armory. What's your passion? Taurus, USA. Always ready, always bring it. Stoger, everyday tough. SDS Imports, Tesis. Tesis means quality. 
Hunter's HD Gold. They change so you don't have to. MTM Case Guard. Quality shooting sports accessories. And Ed Brown. The best money can buy for over 50 years. This is my friend Gordon Bond. Gordon is not like normal people. Gordon thought that a 4570 Derringer was a great idea, and since it went so well, he did one in 50 AE. But this is Gordon's newest and possibly strangest trick. It's a Bond Arms lever gun as only Gordon Bond could conceive of. Gordon, tell me about this guy. Uh, back in uh, 2019, at, at the end of SHOT Show, we were sitting around, I had my engineer, had our world champion cowboy action shooter, yeah. and somebody said, hey, let's talk about lever actions. And we, we're all lever action fans, yeah. you know, I yeah. mean, uh, the lever actions are great. And, and so what we wanted to do is, you know, if we were going to do a from ground up design, what would we do? And so one of the first things that we wanted to do was a short throw lever. Yeah. And but also, you know, not, not only that, but use modern technology. And yeah. modern technology is AR technology. Yep. And all the different calibers, the rifle calibers. Um, you know, we didn't want to do the traditional. We, right. You know us. Yes, never you do don't traditional. do traditional. Yeah. No. And so uh, we wanted to do something where we could have like a Magpul, a Magpul stock or we could have an 870 stock. Um, we dovetailed it to where you can change the loops out for, for the different types of stock. Oh, that's great. Um, the mag release is right where you're used to having it. So you've got one here, one here, and then one on the opposite side. Um, you, the, the rail, when we produce them, will actually be lower because we don't have a gas system. Yeah, right, right. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, so it, it's just a, we, we just reconfigured it to where, with the lower, you can put different uppers on uh, and the barrel. And sometimes you have to change the bolt carrier because it'll be different. Right, right. But the bolt stays the same like a regular AR. Um, and so you can do different calibers. So, so we're going to start this out as a uh, 223 wild. So you can do 223, yeah, sure. uh, 556. Five, five, uh, 300 blackout is the next on the list because everybody wants to have one of those uh, suppressed. 458 SOCOM? People are asking for that too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 350 Legend, uh, yeah. 450 Bushmaster. The, uh, uh, you know, there's a whole lot you can do with this platform. And uh, we're going through the patent process right now. And uh, that's looking very well. Good, good, um, good. Uh, so you know, it's just a really cool. Everybody that touches it goes, "Oh, yeah. I've got to get one of these." And plus, as somebody who hunts with a lever gun and who's hunted with a lever gun in Africa, where you cannot bring a semi-auto into the country, it sure would be handy to have a lever gun with a magazine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Gordon, as always, a triumph, dude. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, you can check it out at bondarms.com uh, if you want to get on our, our mailing list. Uh, we'll get, be giving updates on when this is going to be available and our crazy other stuff. Yeah. So. 4570 Derringer, yes. 50 AE Derringer, yes. <laughs> oh, Carpel Tunnel Syndrome, yes. <laughs> Fun stuff. <laughs> you know, it's not a big secret that I've always been a fan of Stag Arms. I've got a lot of their guns. I've shot a lot of their guns. One of my three-gun rifles, in fact, was a Stag three-gun rifle. This is not the gun I would expect from Stag, but on the other hand, I would imagine it's going to live up to their quality. It is a 4570. It's not an AR-15. It's not a bow gun. It is, in fact, a lever gun. 4570, 5-1, threaded barrel. Looking for release, release a little bit later in the year. It's not ready to go yet. This is almost a tease. But this is a nice... 4570 and you know we spent a lot of time shooting them you guys have seen a lot of 4570s on the videos but this one you just feel this is a really solid gun that this is a gun you'd be happy to take into the field and you know what can i say stack arms makes good stuff ars bolt guns the year the lever gun you've probably seen my marlin dark it's from the previous iteration of marlin just before they hit the iceberg and sank without a trace, before Ruger acquired them, have a 30-30 dark. Well, it's a good idea for a woods gun, something you don't mind bouncing around. If you've got beautiful wood and a great blue finish, you don't want to drag it through the thorn like I've done. So, the new iteration of Marlin will have their own dark, 
It's coming very soon. This one's in 3030, obviously. M-Lock rail. You can put lights on it. It's got a great stock. You can bounce it around. And you may think it looks weird, but let me just say this. Diversity counts. Okay, kiddos, I thought we would close here at the Taurus booth with, wait for it, wait for it, a heck of a 4570 Trapper. I didn't predict that this was going to be the year of the lever gun, but apparently a lot of people out there got the message. This guy, this guy cries out to go to Africa, doesn't it? I'm Michael Bain, this is Triggers. You can find us at michaelbain.tv. You can find us at YouTube. You can find us at Rumble. You can find us on X. Check under your couch, we may be there as well. Shot's almost over. I'm ready for the beer. See you next week.